Well, hello there. This is Morgan coming at you from Prowl's patron server, Eternia. This is going to be episode six. Today, we're going to work on the inn and tavern for our small little remote mining village. Maybe do a little bit more, but probably not. Probably building that's going to take up the whole episode, so... Let's get started. Here is the layout. And it can change. I don't have to keep it this way, but there needs to be an, an area for a kitchen. And probably a little bit of an outdoor kitchen as well, I would imagine. Uh, a sitting area. A fireplace. Stairs going upstairs and then rooms upstairs a eh, for the people who run the place and then a couple of rooms to, to, to rent out <laughs> nothing still small rural village so I'm not looking for anything super fancy or, or swanky but that's uh, that's a rough idea so let me go get some uh, materials gathered up and then let's get started Well, Squeaky was working on the stables. I asked her to handle that. She loves working with horses. And so I said, well, I'll let her work with the, the stables and the corral. Uh, so, yeah, got a little bit more work to do here. But basically, this is where it's going to be at. And Summer came and helped Squeaky with some of the design. They had a real good time working with it. A pallet back here, loading up things and this is my first time actually taking a good look at it. And I really like the way it's turned out. Um, assuming this is just here temporary. Yeah, I'm um, really liking the whole thing. Might need to change up these horse stalls in here just a bit, but then I'll wait for that to come out. And I'm about to put a ladder going up somewhere. But anyways, that 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 is very nice. And glad Summer came over and helped on that. Hi, Squeaky. Really enjoyed helping you. Let me know anytime. Summer's place is right up there. Right behind all the trees I've put up. It's nice having nice neighbors. And I'd shown you the house over here Squeaky had been working on. I don't know if I'd shown you this one or not, but I think she's got it finished off. Yeah, that's right. We have taken a peek in here. This one over here. So I think she's finally decided on the design. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The original house, the first house, uh, it's a shulker monster right now. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a squeaky problem. Oh, hey, dude. Yeah, go up there, go up there and rest summer. That'll be good. Okay, so anyway, today's project is this inn and tavern. And I don't know that it'll take up all this space. The building might not take up the whole space, the, the, but the, uh, the concept will probably take up this whole space with an outdoor kitchen and other things. I originally put down those black stone for a 
foundation. But now I'm thinking I want to go with a lighter color, so I think I'm probably going to go with uh, stone bricks for foundation type. Yep, I'm gonna go with a I'm gonna go with a little bit lighter build on this one. Anyway, let me get the uh, foundation laid down and uh, so I haven't sorted out the build palette yet. So let me uh, get the foundation switched out and uh, probably throw in a floor and then we'll start working on the walls. And uh, oh, man, I don't, yeah, anyway. I'll be right back. Well, I have decided on birch planks for the floor for the most part. That's bright enough. I'm going to go with spruce accents for supports at the corners. And I want the wall to be white for the first floor anyway, for the exterior. The second floor, I'm thinking the outside walls being oak. But... Picking the right block is not the easiest thing to do. I've got a lot of options here. Up here, that's mushroom stem. Underneath that is the stripped birch logs. Underneath that is a bone block. Underneath that is calcite. And over here we have wool and polished diorite. And I am leaning towards a bone block. I am, I am, I am. I'll have to get with Squeaky to get a supply of them. Won't need them for the entire thing. <laughs> So there's going to be windows and doors. I haven't decided where the front door is going to be at, but I'm thinking on this wall. And there's going to be a chimney somewhere. There's going to be windows. So there's going to be accents around the window, so I won't need a ton of them. Plus, we'll intersperse other blocks to give it a little bit of texture. So it's not like I'll need a gazillion of them. But yeah, I'm going to... It's going to be three blocks tall. Then that fourth block where the mushroom stem is will be the ceiling for the ground floor and the floor for the upper floor. And there'll be... Normally I'd run logs across straight as beams, but I don't know how I'm going to do that on this angled. I don't know how I'm going to do this angled house building at all, but I've seen people do them, so I wanted to give it a try. More accents and other things, so I think I'll be okay. The second story is going to stick out one block more, I think. Now, I've already pushed this in some because of this. I may end up pushing this back even more. But yeah. Okay, well, let me clean up the extra mess there and then start working on the layout of where the stairs are going to be, where the kitchen's going to be, where the front doors and rear doors are going to be, where windows and things like that are going to be at. Yeah, first off, let me take this mess down and then we can get busy. Okay, I've determine the general layout anyway I like that's gonna be the front doors there the packed ice is gonna be where I plan on putting some windows spider just gonna have to go I need my hand steady it's just gonna leave on its own and that's gonna be fine and dandy Oops. there we go this black stone here, this be a big fireplace here. Then of course this room will be filled up with tables. 
the stairs represent, I'm going to have some steps going up, stairs going up here for the second story. Be a wall here, probably with a bar on this side. That wall probably won't go exactly straight across. It may angle a little bit more. And there'll be a doorway coming in here to the kitchen with another fireplace for cooking and a back door coming out. Probably a small garden, probably an outdoor kitchen, or it's an outdoor stove for cooking in those hot summer days. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Now I just need to get a little bit more materials and uh, start building her up. Let me get started and then I'll bring y'all back when we get somewhere. Okay, I have got a little bit more done. Um, made some seating in here. The uh, tables I'm not happy with. We're going to change these slabs out with uh, probably spruce trap door so I think that's the best trap door. This is gonna be the big fireplace down here. Might get adjusted a little bit more <clears throat> excuse me but might also turn into black stone bricks. Yeah I gotta put the glass in. I don't have any glass here in the medieval district. All the glass I have is at the industrial district in our storage area. And I've got to get more bone, bone block. I'll put the steps here, stairs here going up, and I'll, I think that's going to work. And I'll be, uh, I think I'm going to do the ceiling for down here, which will be the floor for upstairs in the jungle wood. Still haven't determined where this wall is going to be at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tear these blocks back out. Then come back in here and work my way back out with the kitchen and how far I need to go to get everything in will determine where the wall goes. But I'm expecting it's going to come over here and hit that stair somewhere. <clears throat> well, that ain't right. Should be a bone block there. And uh, so let me. Uh, Make some more progress, and I'll bring y'all back in and show you where we're at, show you what I'm thinking. Okay, a little bit more progress has been made. I got some more bone blocks. I got the glass. Got some oak for the up the second floor. Still a lot of work to do, but this hasn't changed yet. Liking that. I went with the oak wall here and oak stairs going up. Probably going to put a stack a couple more barrels here just to keep people from doing something silly. So I'll probably put spruce trap doors on the top of that. Probably going to change that block out. It's this inverted stair. It's a kitchen area, storage shelves, work table, a fireplace for open flame cooking, a couple of smokers, and a smelter, a little exhaust pipe, a little exhaust pipe just poop out. Yeah. So I'm liking the overall construction. The interior design it's not my forte. I'll be a work in progress or I'll get some other people to come in. I'll need to hang a few lanterns around uh, hidden some some torches underneath. Probably put some candles down to figure that out. Anyway upstairs I've done the floor with the jungle. I've got to come in and knock out holes for windows after I figure out the layout up here. But this is all going to be rooms for the inn. Here I'm figuring to be the master suite where the innkeeper lives. I figure the innkeeper would be staying in the inn. They'd have their own little heat here. 
come from the kitchen. A couple of rooms, small rooms over here for kids that had some. Then various size rooms to let out, little bitty ones and medium sized ones. And then over here would be a suite, a little sitting area, big bedroom, two small bedrooms for servants. My need to make them put in a bath up here somewhere though. Anyway, let me, uh, yeah, figure out one of these small rooms would be a bath. No, whatever general bath everybody, all the customers be using, would also be used by the owners. And they're not, uh, yeah, anywho, yeah. I still got some thinking and planning to do, so let me figure it out. And I'll be back. Okay, we've made a little more progress. I need a slab to go right here, but we're going to get there. I turned over the interior decorating to Squeaky, and she is already jumping into it. Got a problem with these little. So anything bigger than the pressure plate just didn't look right. But can't put anything on the pressure plate. And probably going to put a third fence post there. I don't think you can hover one either. But, uh, matter of fact, this is probably going to be Squeaky's base of operation in this area. I told her she could pretend she's just the innkeeper or whatever. But anywho, yeah, got the, let me show you what else I've gotten done. Got the second floor finished. Well, I thought I had it finished. Looks like I'm missing a couple of birch logs, which I do not have on me. Now, went and got some white terracotta from Vanna's shop in the, uh, over by the castle. But yeah, I've got to. I've got to finish off both fireplaces and I need to put a roof on. Those are my next two chores. This is going to be Squeaky's bedroom and Squeaky's bathroom. Well, this will be for all the patrons of the, of the inn. Got the massive, you got the suite over here. That's a bath, a small room. I got showed you in a bigger room. She's going to decorate all these, put the doors in, all that good stuff. I'll put a couple of cross beams in. Let's go outside and look at it from the outside. Now, when I first laid the foundation for it, it was an L shape. It went across this way, whoa, and then straight back that way. But looking at it, um, you get it to where we can look at it just a hair better. That ought to do it. And it's heart shaped. So, yay. Yeah, I was very. I did not put any white terracotta where I didn't need it. Which is basically on top of all the walls in there. I put in these support beams going across, just throwing a little bit of something different. But now I've got to figure out how the roof is going to run. I think I've decided for now, anyway, that I'm going to put it uh, nether brick roof. The whole build, is, except for the dark oak and spruce, is light enough that I think I can handle a darker roof. Or a deep slate roof. We're going to start off with the nether brick and see how that works. Right now I'm just trying to figure out the crap I want to shape it. Me and my bright ideas. Anyway, let me, uh, I'm going to have to run back to the industrial district. That's where I've got all my nether bricks and blocks at. And uh, let me get started, see if I can get somewhere. I'll be back. Okay, Squeaky has gotten started on the interior decorating a bit. 
She's still working on that. May I have came up here and started on the netherrack roof. Little tricky going across here at an angle, but about figured it out. This here will be a gabled in and it'll go back down over here and then this one will go off at an angle this way. Then when it gets about here, it's going to turn and go this way. That one there is going to come across the top of the birch. And here on this end, we'll have another gable in. So basically, it's an L-shaped. It's V-shaped, but it's, yeah, it's an l shape. So there'll be a gable in there and then a gable in here when I'm all said and done. And taking a bit to get it lined up right the first time, but... This side is about done. Then I'll start up with there. And then once the roof is on, I am going to work on the, bring up the chimneys. Yeah, this is a little bit of an aggravation, getting that worked out and then getting the steps to lay right. But, I'm liking the way it's looking. I'm totally clueless about what I'm going to put over here on this gable then. I just got the perch up there for throwing up blocks. I mean, the chimney coming up here will help a lot of it. But also, I've got to, yeah, I got to fill in right underneath the edge of the roof. Probably thinking about going with the dark oak. We'll have to see. Anyway, I want to get back to putting the roof on. Okay, I've got the roof mostly completed. But I went with the red nether brick, and I think it's turning out fine. <clears throat> I need to <clears throat> extend it on out about one, out and down one more layer. I still have to do the eaves. Yeah, I was using the birch logs for blocks just to place things, temporary blocks. <clears throat> so I need to take that back out, put in proper eaves, and finish up the, uh, the two fireplaces, chimneys. But yeah. I think that's going to work out just fine. To figure out what I'm going to do there too. But anyway, so I'm going to get back to it and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, Squeaky decided she wanted to go with calcite up here. Which... I think it looks okay. And I have finished off the chimneys. Yeah, we're going to do some lighting up around here. This is new. Sorry, I got distracted here because we starting on another house over here in the village. Almost done. And then the other one. Also, for the gable ends, I went with the, uh, the jungle planks. And that is a ceiling block using through. Yeah, that needs to be changed out. <laughs> Or jungle block. That give me something to do. Still got to do some landscaping and still got to decide whether or not I'm going to put in the outdoor kitchen. Yay. And then, real quick inside, I'll show you where we're at. Yeah. Got the fire going in over there. The kitchen side is just a magma block and I've got to put in a few more blocks up here that I left out and another door over here but 
basically, basically we're just down to interior decorating. Yeah, Squeaky's definitely decided this. She's gonna make this her base of operations. Gotta put up some trap doors over those shulkers there, and probably hide some, uh, put some chests and some uh, hoppers underneath those, and she turned them into little XP furnaces. But anyway, that's gonna be it for episode six on Eternia. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have hit the like button and the subscribe button also check the description there's a link in there for prowls of uh, attorney and merchandise i don't know if that's still going on i know it's a limited time but check in if you haven't already and uh enjoy otherwise y'all have a good one we'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>